Avengers Infinity War is just around the corner and we've broken down every scene from the trailers, ranked each and every MCU film, and even pondered which Avenger may not make it out alive. Now we've put together a wish list for the Russo brothers. Here are 10 things we want from the latest MCU installment. But first, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Infinity War coverage, including a spoiler talk review after the film's release, and a post-credits breakdown because every Marvel movie has one. The Avengers crew isn't the tightest group of friends after Civil War. He's my friend. So was I. Damn! Although Tony does have Cap's burner phone to call in case of emergencies. Yep, he's gonna wanna make that call. In order for the band to get back together, Infinity War needs to do a ton of emotional legwork. Bucky Barnes is back in the mix, which means Tony and company will need to have a serious combo amongst each other. This will warrant more than just a phone call if this fractured group wants to be at full strength when the Mad Titan comes to town. After 18 of these films, there's only one Infinity Stone missing, the Soul Stone. The good guys need to make sure that Thanos doesn't get his hands on all six of these gems, so they absolutely need to make sure they find the Soul Stone before he does. In the comics, the Soul Stone can be used to literally imprison human souls in an alternate dimension. It sounds like it's going to be a terrifying sight to see the stone's powers manifested in the MCU. We're sorry to break it to you, but not everyone will survive Infinity War. But when one superhero passes, a new one rises in his or her place. The most likely candidates? MCU veterans like Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. The good news is that for the past decade, some new up-and-coming heroes have been introduced. Men and women that are perfectly suited to take over the reins. Some of our favorites include Tom Holland's Peter Parker and Letitia Wright's Shuri. Fingers crossed that some of our heroes merely retire instead of falling at the hands of Thanos, but we're already preparing to bring tissues to the theater. If the MCU takes inspiration from the comic books, we may get a new on-screen power couple. Step aside, Bruce Banner, because in the books, Black Widow and the Winter Soldier have an on-again, off-again romance. It makes a whole lot of sense, too. It's not every day that two formerly brainwashed Soviet super spies find each other after coming in from the cold. Remember back to Civil War when Natasha insinuated that she and Bucky had a history together? You at least recognize me. Now that Bucky is finally freed from Hydra's mind control thanks to Shuri's rehabilitation program and Natasha's hopeful solo Black Widow film, the future looks ripe for a romance and an ass-kicking team-up between these two. Loki's connection to both the Avengers and the Infinity Stones has been something the MCU has played with since the very first Avengers movie all the way back in 2011. Since then, the god of mischief has been all over the board, from reluctant ally to outright anti-hero and back again. His most recent outing in Thor Ragnarok really upped the sympathy angle as he and his adoptive brother Thor apparently buried the hatchet in the wake of Asgard's destruction. But that's all in serious question now. Infinity War will prove once and for all where Loki's loyalties lie. The trailer teases a shot of Loki with the Tesseract. Does he willingly give it up as part of his unpaid debt to Thanos? Or does Thanos take it against his own will? Whatever the case is, we're not so sure Loki will survive this one. Infinity War will be the first real collision between the space-based Guardians of the Galaxy and the rest of the MCU's heroes. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. And though they fought off alien invasions and dealt with Asgardians, the Avengers are going to have to seriously reconsider the way they operate and think of their position in the bigger picture. In a perfect world, Infinity War will pave the way for further collaboration between the Avengers and the Guardians, as well as open some doors for more of Marvel's cosmic cast to start making live-action appearances. Thor specifically, having recently lost his home, could stand to have his horizons broadened for future films. Or maybe he'll just retire and rebuild Asgard on Earth itself. If they want to pull a page from the books, maybe he'll settle down in Oklahoma. In the comics, when Captain America became disillusioned with his mantle and fell out of touch with the American dream, he cast his shield and costume aside for a new one, Nomad, the man without a country. Since he's already a fugitive post-Civil War, this might be a possible way for Steve to bow out instead of outright killing him. If not, how about a Nomad name drop somewhere in Infinity War? Even if it's just an Easter egg for comic book fans. Black Panther breakout and fan favorite Shuri is Wakanda's chief engineer and the smartest person in the MCU, meaning she'll no doubt have plenty of perspectives for the Avengers' other brainy heroes. A meeting between Shuri, Tony Stark, Peter Parker, and Bruce Banner would plant the seeds for some incredible new inventions down the line, and maybe some beautiful new friendships to help build out the shared universe. Also, let's face it, Stark Industries could definitely use someone like her on the R&D front. Another romance to watch? Vision and Wanda. After Civil War and snippets from the Infinity War trailer, it's a pretty safe bet that we're on the cusp of seeing Vision and Wanda become a couple. You're saying they'll come for me. 
we would protect you. Over in the comics, Vision and Wanda's romance is complicated. Something you might be able to guess considering one of them is a reality warping metahuman. She's actually a mutant. Thanks, MCU. And the other is a sentient robot who may or may not be powered by some sort of cosmic energy. However, despite the complication and the mess, Vision and Wanda did manage to have, again, a witch and a robot, we're not really talking traditional birth here, two children, Billy Kaplan and Tommy Shepard, who would go on to be core members of the Young Avengers. On screen, Wanda and Vision differ pretty greatly from the comic books, but a genuine stab at developing their relationship opens all sorts of doors to be explored in later movies. And finally, one of the major components of the Infinity Comics storyline revolves around the underwater kingdom of Atlantis, home of Namor. Now, expecting a Namor cameo is probably too high of a hope, but the movie would provide a great vehicle to start seeding the introduction of Atlantis into the MCU, maybe even in time for Namor to make an appearance in Black Panther 2. If Disneyland California holds any clues, and we think it does, the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout ride includes some mysterious but prominently displayed Atlantean artifacts. Basically, the plaque reads specifically that they were collected from the bottom of the ocean on Earth. It would be a shame for those designs to never get proper on-screen placement. The half-human, half-Atlantean prince is much more than just an Aquaman villain. He was actually created a few years before Aquaman in 1939. Since his first appearance in the comics, he's served as a member of the Invaders, the Avengers, the Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the X-Men. I think it's safe to say he's earned some screen time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. What do you want to see happen in Infinity War? Let us know your wish list in the comments below, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything on the upcoming film. We'll see you next time.